I love my town so much, I can't say it been messed around. We're on along 2nd Avenue of the Hurst. This is where our community hub is, just along here. We've got people in the hub who are welcoming, who are trying to do things for other people in the community. It really is trying to make people friendly and caring for each other. If they can come to us, we'll get them into the community and we won't expect anything from them. There are a lot of community groups in Hearst and a lot of really active people. Having spent a lot of time talking and listening to people, I realised the will was there to do things, but they found it really difficult to come together because there weren't the networks. None of would take a wage or anything like that. We're all volunteers. We've had we're real ups and downs. We're back been to the wall many a time. We thought that was it, we can't go on any longer. Museums Northumberland Bait invited me to develop a project specifically for Hearst, which would explore the heritage and cultural identity of the community and find ways in which lots of different people within Hearst could get involved in the arts. I've been working as a documentary photographer in the town for the past 42 years. I was actually born in Hawthorne Road, which is only around the corner from, uh, from Heart of the Hearst. I was invited to be artist in residence in the Hearst as a social documentary photographer. Me and Mick had worked together once before and he'd produced an amazing body of photographs. So it seemed really obvious to ask him to work in Hearst. Mick once said he photographs people who are often ignored or those you see on the periphery. He gives people humanity and allows them to tell their own stories. Now the thing that inspired me about the working in the Hearst was the resilience of the people and the fact that uh, through you know, good times and bad times, people pulled together in this area. When I was born here, uh, it was a very close-knit community. I think uh, Heart of the Host, they're trying to get that back together again in the town. Whatever anybody had, he shared it. My granddad used to keep pigs. When he killed a pig, everybody in the street got a bit of pork. The pit houses, the colliery houses as one known as, a lot of the, uh, these houses now have been sold on and are now owned by private landlords and we've got people coming in from all parts of the, the North East, for example. There is a lot of positive things. There's still a lot of good people that really want to help the community. And when we have our events, they all come forward and the families they really appreciate it. We wanted to find artists who would want to work with the community and we commissioned Walker and Bromwich to work with over 200 people to create a procession and a film which explored ideas about heritage, identity and notions of labour. Part of the hearse became the production HQ and actually the artists filmed in these very streets. And in that way, the artists reached out to a whole host of people, young and old, who all contributed to making the work. Shy Bane's getting out, we see that a lot. Being shy makes you miss out. As well as the Walker and Bromwich Commission and Mick Critchlow's residency, we worked with Heart of the Hearst to develop the annual Party in the Park at Hearst Park. the little flyers that we're handing out, which gives you a rough sum up, but obviously that was done before we've added more stalls to the list. And that is the main, main flyer. I love what I do, or I wouldn't be doing it. You know, I'm, I'm working harder now than when I was, when I was actually earning a wage. We're doing all right when people start talking to each other and acknowledging each other in the streets, which is what I've started to get a lot more of as well since I've moved here. We've got a party in the park on the 1st of July. Have you got bands? Wait, get yourself down to it anyway. Um, we've got craft stalls, got bouncy castles, all sorts, 1st of July. Down at the Hearst Park. We're at the Hearst Flower Park in Ashington and this is where we're holding our big summer event. There's a dog show on as well. Have you got a dog? No, you haven't even got one of them. You should borrow one. <laughs> we expect about minimum 200. There'll probably be a lot more coming and they need feeding. I just keep baking until I'm 
kind of bake anymore. I kind of get more in the freezer or whatever. And then I'll probably bake the scones at the end of the week. And we don't charge anything for it. You wouldn't charge anybody if they were coming to your house for a cup of tea or, or a sandwich. You wouldn't charge them. That's what we're doing, but at a big week. <laughs> it's almost like a village party. Uh, you hear of villages where on one day, yeah, they all turn out. Mm -hmm. uh, they have big cook-ups, they have competitions. Well, that's what we're doing. And it's that feeling of village community, village reaction together. There was a, a chap walking through the park and he came across this other chap who was sitting at a chessboard. And opposite him, was an Irish setter. And the Irish setter was moving the pieces on the chessboard with its paws. And the fella said, Yee, that's a clever animal, that. And the fella looked up at him and said, Clever? It hasn't won a game yet. I want to see the kids and the older generation coming together and enjoying a good day out. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> How's it going, Carol? It's all going very well, very well. Just need the people to come now. All the stalls have turned up. I have literally <clears throat> got out of bed, got dressed and ran up here to help people set their stalls out, set the gazebos out, set the tables out. There are a group of volunteers giving up their own time and they're doing this on behalf of the local community, there's no hidden agenda. I thought you'd forgotten about me. Still cutting up pie. Eh? Still cutting up pie. Yes. We've got a steady flow of people coming in and hopefully it'll be like that all day. We came here because like it's something just to as a community come together and do stuff together and it'll be it was nice. It's like my town and People in here respect who people are. They pick whatever class they want in, pay their money, get their ticket, and then come back when the actual show's on at half twelve. Is it worth it? Yeah. It is really. I've got to see the elite. Oh, I get just tired and getting old. Uh, I kind of get it out quick enough. So you really kind of need more assistance, don't you? Eh? Uh? I mean, it's more people than there is food. Yes. But we'll have all the puppies in. Can you spread yourself around? The community has actually come out and supported everybody. They've been laughing and joking, talking to each other, which is what we want them to do. I just think it's genuinely a beautiful park, a beautiful place, you know? Everybody's friendly. I feel safe. And I also feel young again because it's bringing back memories from my childhood. We try to bring them together, the, the people of the host. If they meet each other from the same street here and the kids play together, the mummies do it later when they're at home, pop along for coffee or a cup of tea or It'll just make it more um, more homely. Everyone all mucks in together, from tight as a community, a unit. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're all about. We haven't got the money, but we can put on a bloody good show. Yes, we can. Really can. Is it just, is it donations? Oh, I thought it was that. If I ever get any food. <laughs> Today has been like, I think it's special to us. It's just made everybody more comfortable to be around people, you know. We've all we've all had a nice day, we've all got together, you know. Doing it be nice. That's how it should be, Carol, shouldn't it? Trouble is, it put me pants to me. <laughs> I might do a moony. <laughs> then that'll clear the room. Uh, <laughs> tell you a queer thing. I was born on number eight Beatrice Street in a downstairs flat and my daughter later went and she says, I've, bought, I've just bought a house. I said, you're joking. She says, yes, it was uh, reduced and it was 8 Beatrice Street. I says, that's where I was born. You couldn't, honestly, you couldn't believe it. 
So what's next? Fancy, Fancy dress. dress is next. Dress as a chicken, he's just laid the egg and his little chihuahua's the egg. Oh, that's effort, isn't it? Yes. That is effort. effort. Yeah. But since we started with the events, it has grown and it has grown and it has grown. So I'm really, really proud that the team took a step back from what they were doing and pushed forward with the events. Heart of the Hearst have created something wonderful and this is the beginning of a new annual tradition in Hearst. I just hope that the examples we set is taken up by the younger generation as they see us around the place doing things and try and do their bit for society. People will gradually realise what a fantastic job they're doing, that their communities are much stronger uh, and much more welcoming and they'll want to be part of it and that's, that's essential. If we, we need to carry on this project to make sure that the, the community is as strong as a welcoming as what it was uh, many, many years ago. I keep going for as long as I can. I'm, I mean, I'm 70 now, I'm dwindling, but I'll keep going for as long as, long as the mouse goes, the body will go. <laughs> this is a, an award I received for a Good Citizens, Ashton Good Citizens Award. It's only taken us 10 years to receive it, you know, but um, it's nice to get it, but I don't take it on board for myself. It's what the group's done. But I'm proud, my family was there, my grandbairns were there, and it was just nice to be awarded it for all the hard work, but it's a group award as far as I'm concerned. You know, I mean, yeah, you can't beat it being in here and talking to everybody in here. You can't beat that. I've got a very quiet husband and I'm very mouthy. So how, how we've stayed together 52 years is beyond me. But we have. Maybe it's because he ignores us. Doesn't listen to what I say, so, yes. Oh, yes. Well, I think they do. I don't know what they say behind me back, like, but I hope they do. <laughs> oh, dear me.